Hi guys, uh, so today I will be walking you through the steps of how to install a Google Cloud Engine which uh, gives you the, uh, the privilege to work on deep learning and machine learning problems. Uh, the, uh, so what I will be doing is I will be you know, uh, telling you how to install a CPU instance uh, with which you can uh, run the, uh, the basic problems like uh, K nearest neighbor, linear regression, logistic regression, the image classification, and a lot more. Uh, so, you might be wondering why I'm helping you guys is the reason because I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted to uh, get um, you know the understanding of how the problems actually work in Python, and uh, for that I have a Windows operating system, so I was not able to run these things uh, properly. Uh, maybe because of the back and compatibility I have a PyCharm and uh, I use PyCharm for Python and uh, I was using Python 2.7 version uh, and uh, I had posted a query uh, on Stack Overflow for, and I got a couple of answers for that and people told me to upgrade it to 3.5 3.6 I did that but still things didn't work and then I also uh, tried uh, you know installing Anaconda which is a heavy heavy software still things didn't work so what I, I was told by one of my friend to use Google Cloud which is really good. Uh, it also took a bit of time for me to install but, uh, but still trust me it's, it's a really good uh, cloud platform to work with. Uh, it, I guess it, it, yes, it runs on Ubuntu and uh, it runs on Ubuntu and uh, what it does is uh, Ubuntu 16.04 and uh, you can install your dependencies on top of it and start working. So uh, let's start without any further ado and let me tell you I'll be dividing my videos in two different parts. So in part one I'll be taking you through the steps of uh, installing the instance and getting with start with it. And the next part will be basically the, uh, the uh, setting up the IPython notebook and uh, I'll just show you one code using TensorFlow probably I'll see. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, this is the the URL which you have to type in on Google, and uh, it will take you to a to a web page uh, to basically a sign in, uh, we, where you just have to you know enter your uh, Gmail account. I guess everyone nowadays have a Gmail account. So when once you do that, uh, it will take you to a it will take you to a page where you will see on the top right corner it will say that uh, you know uh, start a free trial. So you can click on it and uh, then. Uh, it will take you to a page where it will ask you a couple of yes or no questions and your country just mention those things and then it will take you next page where you can just mention whether you are a business person or individual uh, based on that just mention the things and then a bank card detail I don't think so that's necessary then you can mention your country address city and all that thing and after that you have to mention your credit card details so you can also mention a HDFC uh, if you have an international debit card you can mention it uh, like HDFC uh, and uh, FII, uh, I guess they charge you nominal. Uh, uh, it's it's I guess it's 70 INR. Uh, I, at least in my case, I I think I, I they didn't charge me or I guess they did. I don't remember it. But trust me, uh, they won't charge you much. It's even if they do, it's I guess 70 INR, not more than that. So once you are done with it, uh, you'll get you'll get up something page like where you have to create a project you'll get a page uh, where you'll have to create a project so like you can just uh, see like I already have a project created otherwise uh, you can just click on this and it will ask you to create a project so it's very simple once you do that uh, you can just uh, create and uh, you know open that project so like I already have a project so I can just open it directly so once you do that you just have to create a VM instance so you just click on create uh, it's, it's, uh, and it will take you to a different page yeah so it says uh, instance to it automatically says that so then the next step what you have to do is you have to click on this zone and this is very important step it has to be US West 1B just click on that make sure it's US West 1B not ABC or East or West, uh, East or North or something else uh, then the machine type you have to uh, take on 8 CPUs and the next thing is boot disk so this has to be Ubuntu 6.04 as I told you in the starting 
and boot disk type can be standard persistent disk size uh, 10 gb once you are done with it scroll down and tick these allows https traffic the next step you have to do is uh, the disk setup uh, just untick the delete boot disk and uh, just click create and your instances is created so you will get uh, a green tick which means that your instance is up and running yeah so so once you're done with it uh, you can just uh, so see this is the external IP so when you get external IP this means that you have to use this IP in order to access the IPython notebook uh, so we'll set up the external IP right now. It's not set up, uh, but just in order to tell you, just note down this IP uh, somewhere because you'll be using this a lot. So you'll be connecting with this uh, instance using this SSH. So for right now, uh, let's go on to the next step. And also, let me tell you that uh, remember to stop this instance by clicking on this uh, stop when once you are uh, done using it. Uh, so you just click on stop, and you'll get a. I guess a notification whether you want to stop or not so just tick cancel or stop whatever you want to but make sure to do that because they just give you 300 characters which is I guess it's not less but still uh, it's always better to do this uh, the next step which you do is uh, the next step is to click on these horizontal bars uh, and then go on to uh, networking so you have to go on to networking where you will actually uh, allow your uh, your instance to access that external IP address so you just click on the external IP okay and uh, so you just have to click on static okay and you name it uh, something like Aditya 2 let's see if it okay it's done so it's done you can just note down this IP make sure you note it down okay now you have to create the firewall rule so basically here comes the TCP port through which you'll be able to access your uh, uh, what you call is uh, your basically your uh, instance so I just put something random and then uh, you come down you don't have to change anything else in the targets if you see this you just have to click all instances in the network okay uh, so you're allowing all the instances in the network and source IP will be 0, .0, .0, .0, slash 0 so source is basically we uh, we us and uh, uh, the destination is from where you get the reply so source IP will be 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and here you put the TCP port so you can put anything you want uh, let's just put a random port let's put thousand for simplicity and uh, let's create it uh, so now I think we will be able to do the SSH and I hope till now you guys are able to follow the steps they are quite easy so there is not much uh, to stress upon so it's done now we go back to the instance compute engine so here here is uh, your where you will find your vm instance the compute engine here it is uh, so now we have set up the external ip uh, we have also uh, put the ip address just to uh, note down uh, it was 1000 if you remember it uh, the IP was 1000 so just make a note of it so that you don't forget it it's 1000 and the IP external IP is just copy it and uh, paste it over here fine uh, now just connect we'll just connect to the SSH and let's see if it works or not and this uh, is very simple you just have to click on uh, this uh, SSH and it will connect you with uh, connect the SSH to your VM instance and it will uh, automatically at the back end it will uh, you know uh, check the keys and everything and it will establish a connection and through this you will be able to access everything 
there you go uh there you get this welcome to ubuntu 16.04 uh dot 2 so you set up uh so this is your instance basically uh even if uh, so if you see something else like uh my name is aditya but if you're seeing anuj koli that's uh, i have created another account just in just to tell you guys how this works so i already have an instance created in my own account but i had to do this in order to walk you through the steps and help you guys in uh, getting things running so this is uh, pretty much about it in this part in the next part i will uh, walk you through the steps of setting up the uh, setting up your uh, your uh, python dependencies uh, python versions tensor flows uh, your ipython notebook and uh, i'll try to show you one uh, you know through a code snippet probably Uh, how your uh, tensorflow is running or not so you can after that you can install keras th uh, keras theano uh, you can install uh, you know gensim library for uh, using uh, natural language processing and all that thing so that's it guys uh, thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video kindly uh, kindly like it subscribe comment and please do share with your friends so that they can also get some help through this thank you guys